Hi, this is Janice Forster, and I my task is to talk to you about the synergy of technology with the basic learning theories. Okay, so I hope that this week is going to be another interesting week for you. This is your third week of your continuing professional education. And by the end of this presentation, we hope that you will already be able to describe what is technology in education, identify the elements involved in technology in education, illustrates, illustrate the relationships between the different aspects of this um, particular technology, outline the development of technology in education, explain its importance in, your, in the field that you are in, assess the basic learning theories that shaped educational technology, and relate the basic principles of teaching and educational technology to your everyday teaching scenario. So basically, um, I will base the presentation outline of these slides on the expectations that I have discussed in the previous slide. So the first question that we might ask is, what is educational technology? So actually, according to Rob Lear, when a teacher uses the internet for teaching materials, or even when students only look up a definition on an in, on an on disk world atlas, the teacher is already using some of the latest and best of what is commonly called technology in education or educational technology. So according to this same author, educational technology is not new at all, and it is by no means limited to the use of equipment, let alone electronic equipment. Modern tools and techniques are simply the latest developments in a field that some believe is as old as education itself. So when we talk of educational technology, it generally involves any media that can be used in education. So when we say that, it could be a printed media, either projected or non-projected, models, audio, video, or digital media. So we don't only actually mean that the focus is on computers. It could also be on peripherals or related software that are used as tools in teaching as well as in learning. Further, according to another author, Sattler, when we speak of educational technology, it can be traced back to the time when tribal priests systematized bodies of knowledge and early cultures invented pictographs or sign writings to record and transmit information. Clearly, it is essentially the product of a great historical stream consisting of trial and error, long practice and imitation, and sporadic manifestations of unusual individual creativity and persuasion.